Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us at East Durham College's live event. Uh, my name is Lindsay Haggis and I'm the Curriculum Director at our Hoffle campus, responsible for land-based study programmes. Um, this presentation, this event, will focus on the courses available at our Hoffle campus, which is just outside of Durham City Centre. Uh, we will cover the range of courses that we've got available at the campus, some of the career opportunities in the land-based sector and some of the support packages available to our students. If you're interested in our general further education offer, our SEND offer or the sports academies, we have some specific um, separate presentations and events for these areas, which were starting from five o'clock. Following this presentation, we would invite you to join some of the more detailed events uh, for your specific chosen areas, which are starting from five o'clock. So East Durham College is actually three colleges. We've got a campus in Peterlee, in Hoffel, uh, which is just outside of Durham City Centre and the Technical Skills Academy. Across the college as a whole, we have over courses in over 40 different vocational subjects or 20 different A-level options. The Hoffel campus was originally established in 1938 as the County Durham School of Agriculture, um, and it occupies a site of roughly 500 acres. Um, we invested about three years ago £12 million as a phase one investment in the campus and we've now got a brand new animal care centre, two kennel blocks with dog training facilities, agility areas, some modern science labs and veterinary nursing teaching areas and an extensive modern equine unit with a 40 by 40 indoor arena, an Olympic size outdoor menage, um, horse walker and indoor stabling blocks. We also have a modern agricultural centre with a brand new cattle handling facilities and high welfare pig unit. Uh, we farm around 500 acres, both arable and livestock. Um, we also have 150 commercial sheep, a calf rearing enterprise and a suckler beef herd. Our farm business plan focuses very much on sustainability, minimising food miles and a result, we have a really low carbon footprint. If you haven't yet visited the campus, it is a really beautiful place. We're surrounded by ancient woodland and the River Weir. Um, we, we've got a lot of videos on our website and some 360 degree tours. Um, if you're not able to visit us, are worth a look. OK, so at Hoffel, we specialise in eight specific land based curriculum areas. Um, as many people are unfamiliar with these, I'll take a few minutes to explain each one. So agriculture, when most people think of agriculture, they think of farmers, tractors, machinery, mucking at pigs. And while these occupations are the cornerstone of agriculture, the sector also includes all of the jobs in the allied industries like agricultural engineering, farm assurance inspectors, farm consultants, and people that work in advisory roles like agronomists that can earn upwards of £100,000 a year. Agriculture is a really high tech sector, things like satellite driven tractors, drones, precision technology. Um, all of these things are commonly used on farms to improve productivity and the environmental impact of farming. Many young people are put off studying agriculture because they don't come from farming backgrounds. However, we can teach you everything that you need to know. And if your dream is to earn your own farm, there are a lot of schemes now available to help people buy, rent or set up their own farms. So animal management is our biggest curriculum area. We've got fantastic facilities for teaching animal management and our learners benefit not only from the extensive range of animals in the animal care unit, but also all our animal care students learn how to work with our farm livestock. So take part in things like lambing. While many of our students come to us knowing what they want to do, i.e. they want to work in a zoo, in a conservation industry or in the pet care industry, Many people come to us not really knowing what they want to be when they grow up, but they do have a passion for animals and learning about animals. So on our courses, some learners do discover that whilst they love learning about animals, they don't necessarily want to work in such a hands on physical role. So for this reason, all our level three learners will study things like business management and science and be encouraged to develop IT skills, um, transferable skills like communication skills, problem solving skills and teamwork that um, employers all really value. 
In year two of our level three programme, learners choose between a business management pathway and a science route, where on the science route, they'll study biology, genetics, chemistry, microbiology, um, up to A-level standard. And this opens up a whole range of degree, degree options in STEM subjects like biological sciences, bioveterinary sciences, and maybe even things like nursing and paramedic sciences. Um, on the business management pathway, learners will look at things like uh, pet store design, business management, ecology and conservation. So it sets them up to, to pursue a career in the more hands-on practical industries. So our borough culture, um, not, not a lot of people know what it is. It's the study of trees. Um, a common career pathway within our borough culture is tree surgery. And when most people think of this tree surgeons, they think of a self-employed person who comes around to manage the trees in people's back gardens. However, whilst many arborists do choose this route, construction companies like Amy, local councils, etc., employ teams of tree surgeons to maintain the trees by our transport network, so roads, railways, through the electricity supply network, so um, and the telecommunications network. So all of these trees need to be maintained for public safety and to keep our roads and everything moving. On our level three arboriculture courses, you will become proficient in things like chainsaw use, use of machinery, um, tree climbing, aerial work. Um, and many of our past students have chosen to use these skills to go directly into the industry, while some will then go on and study things like forestry, woodland management at degree level. Many of our students have chosen in the past to go and work overseas, where the skills of arboriculture students are in high demand in places like Australia and Canada. So equine, the UK horse care industry is uh, one of the highest quality equine industries in the world. Um, in the UK, we are recognised for, um, we were recognised internationally as a leading source of equine expertise. And what that means is that your skills can be in high demand in lots of places outside of the UK. So for example, in America or in the Far East. Um, the equine industry contributes £8 billion to the UK economy and it's the second largest rural employer after agriculture. Our level three equine students not only get really high quality riding tuition and practical tuition, which if you were to buy it would cost you in the region of £3,000 a year, um, you also get an academic qualification which allows you to progress on to university. Equine students um, study business management and event management, which helps them develop the business acumen needed for self-employment, as well as work ethic and team working skills um, that allow them to succeed both inside and outside of the equine industry. So floristry. Floristry is great for those with a creative flair um, and an eye for detail. So floristry can be a very rewarding career. Successful florists combine their artistic skills with um, business skills and customer service. And while most do work in shops um, or a freelance, others may work for large hotel chains, funeral directors, cruise ship operators, flower wholesalers and supermarkets. Horticulture. We have around 80 learners at any one time studying our horticulture um, apprenticeship pathways. We mostly work with large organisations like councils or um, construction companies who employ teams of people to maintain parks and gardens and the urban environment. We also work with businesses like golf courses um, and sports centres to train greenkeepers and ground staff. If you're interested in horticultural apprenticeship, um, there is a live event um, for work based learning that's being run by our colleague Jackie Lanigan. So land and wildlife management is a fairly new course that we brought in just the year before last, and it focuses on building the practical skills and the academic knowledge required for a career in the conservation industry. As we leave the EU, the proposed changes to the UK's agricultural policy really do put environmental issues and biodiversity front and centre of all the schemes available to support farmers. Our land and wildlife students um, are going to be really well placed to support farmers in this in this industry in these new challenging times and they are currently working alongside organizations like the North Pennine Trust um, on peat bog restorations um, on projects which will hopefully 
prevent flooding maybe later on and help reduce greenhouse gas emissions. So our last curriculum area, veterinary nursing. Um, veterinary nurses are very highly skilled individuals. Um, all vet nurse training is regulated by the RCVS, the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons, and they require all students to complete an extensive industry placement. So that would be 600 hours at level two or on level three programmes upwards of 2000 hours of training um, on the job. It is very much a full time job. So if you're not studying full time in college, outside of college, you will be doing revision, preparing for your exams or you're going to be in veterinary practice working full time as a veterinary nurse to get those get those skills and experience that you need to succeed. Um, people who who try to study this pathway alongside, say, a part time job or people that have a busy social life or family commitments do often struggle with this pathway. Um, so it, it's important that you kind of realise that from the outset. Um, not all young people are ready to commit to full time to a career in veterinary nursing at the age of 16 or 17, and that's fine. Um, but they might still want to go on to be a veterinary nurse. And for those people, we would say study animal management um, and then go and do veterinary nursing maybe as a degree. So now you've got a bit of an overview of the different subject areas. Um, it's good to have a look at the employment opportunities which are available in the sector. So the table that you're looking at now uh, contains the kind of jobs and professions that you, you might find in the land based industry. The middle column, the percentage column shows how much growth those industries or the growth in the number of jobs expected by 2023. So if we look at those growth areas, things like 24% in landscape gardeners, 23% uh, in professions like other agricultural operations, other agricultural operations can include some of the industries which work alongside the equine industry. Um, it can also include things like arborists, fencing contractors and those sorts of things. Um, agricultural trades, again, is growing by 23% and has a really, really good salary, average salary attached to it. Uh, that can be things like uh, red tractor, farm inspectors, agronomists and all of the other support around farmers that keep farming working as it as it should. The last column on this slide shows you what the average salary is for people doing that job. So that's the average salary, not a starting salary and not an end salary, but roughly what you could expect to earn after maybe doing the job for five years. So post 16 qualifications. So once you've once you've had a look at what kind of curriculum area you might want to do, the next thing to think about is probably the level. So post 16 qualifications are a bit different to school qualifications. We're not talking in key stages anymore. We talk in levels. So level four and above are your higher education, your degree courses. So um, we do a degree with Teesside University, a BSc in animal science and welfare. This um, a lot of people who go on to work in, say, animal management or conservation will tend to be qualified at higher levels. So levels four, five, six, seven degree level qualifications. Um, level three qualifications are equivalent to A levels. We run technical diplomas here at Hoffel and one technical diploma, a level three advanced technical diploma. Um, if you do the full two years, it's equivalent to three A-levels. It gets you the same kind of UCAS points and you can progress on to university with it. Our level three programmes typically have an entry requirement of five GCSEs, grade um, nine to four um, or grade A to C in old money. If you don't achieve, if you miss out, say, on a maths or an English grade, we would tend to signpost you towards a level two qualification. Um, for most of our level two qualifications, you would need a, a four in either maths or English. But once you've done your level two qualification, you can then progress on to your level three qualification or out into the industry if you prefer. Uh, for students that haven't quite got their maths and their English, uh, we would offer a level one or a foundation course, depending on what suited them as individuals. We choose to offer City and Guilds technical qualifications, which tend to be um, very well recognised in the industry, probably more so in the land based industry than your typical BTECs. 
Um, we chose technical qualifications because they're the gold standard in college-based vocational education. They've been developed in conjunction with employers and experts within the industry who inform things like the assessment methods we use and the unit content. As part of a technical qualification, every learner will do 150 hours industry placement, and that's an external placement, usually one day a week, and that ensures that you really are work ready by the time you've finished our qualification. So why should you maybe think about choosing Hoffel to study at? Well, we've got pass rates above average for our technical diplomas and certificate courses. So our achievement rates are above national average for those courses. Um, level three are boriculture and agriculture students. We had 100% progression into industry employment and those learners all had their jobs all lined up for them by kind of March, April time before they finished college. Um, our students also get high grades. So a high grade is defined as a distinction. Um, level three arboriculture, 55% of our students got high grades. Level three equine students, 75% of them got high grades. And in animal management, 53% of them got high grades and 55% of them progressed into university education. We've also had a fairly recent Ofsted inspection. We were inspected in February 2018 and the result was we were deemed as good. Um, and Ofsted said some of the things which we also think are really, really important for a college. So almost all of our learners progress to further education, higher education, apprenticeships or meaningful employment. Um, our learners benefit from excellent practical teaching resources and um, the substantial investment in our resources has a positive impact on um, helping our learners gain the skills that employers value and respect. Um, and our teachers have high expectations and challenge learners to make As I said earlier, all of our level three qualifications are equivalent to A-levels and they get UCAS points. So a lot of our students will choose to progress onto university. Uh, and this is a really, really small snapshot of where our learners went last year. So we had a learner um, on land and wildlife who progressed to land and estates management at the Royal Agricultural University. We always have learners, we consistently have learners um, who get into Russell Group universities like Newcastle University, typically to study things like animal science, um, ecology or agriculture. Um, veterinary nursing. So a lot of our animal management learners will go and study veterinary nursing at university. That's another route into veterinary nursing and they'll get into places like the Royal Veterinary College, which is like the gold standard to go and study vet nursing at. Um, things like marine biology, zoology, wildlife conservation, um, equine science, they're all common destinations for our students. Um, but also some students decide that they don't want to then pursue a degree within the land-based sector. Um, we've had a student go on to study education studies and train to be a teacher. We've had students who have gone down a more STEM pathway and have looked at things like biological sciences, paramedic sciences, etc. So here at East Durham College, we are all about getting the best out of you. Creating outstanding futures is our slogan for a reason. Um, you will get, if you come to us, you will get things like industry specialists as your tutors. So industry specialists we currently have here at Hoffel, we've got Rebecca Hoff, who's our floristry lecturer and also was Chelsea Florist of the Year. We've got Sam Coote, who's agriculture lecturer, but also Farmers Weekly Apprentice of the Year. Uh, we've got Chris Wheatley, who is a former climbing champion, teaches arboriculture, and Felicity, our one of our equine lecturers, who played horseball on the British team. Um, you also get a dedicated progression coach who's assigned to you. Um, your progression coach is your link between home and college. They'll help you with things like making the transition to college, any issues you've got with transport, timetables. Um, if you need any pastoral support outside of college, if you want to access our counselling services, etc., your progression coach is here to help you. Um, we do have high expectations for you for your progress, your attendance, attitude, behaviour. We expect 100% attendance. We expect you to turn up every day at college, ready to work and dressed for work. So when you're working in the land-based sector, that's things like, have you got the correct footwear on? Have you got your hair tied back? Things like facial piercings need to be removed. Um, and we don't have things like false nails or um, false eyelashes when you're working around animals because it could be hazardous. 
Um, we've got an open door policy. Come and see us any time. We have a couple of parents evenings every year and staff are usually on hand to be able to deal with email inquiries or if you want to speak to them over the phone. As a student at East Durham College, you will get a full and rounded programme of study. So you will get your qualification, you will get your work placement, you'll get a careers education package and you will get maths and English if you need it. All of our 16 to 18 year olds as well have a comprehensive tutorial programme and get involved with a community action project to help them build their CV problem solving skills um, and to demonstrate that they're having an impact in the wider community. We have an excellent additional support team, additional learning support team as well, who's on hand to help students who have education, health and care plans. So at Hoffel, our students travel to us from quite a long distance. They come from all around the county and we work in partnership with Arriva. So when you enrol with us at the college, you'll get a college badge and that badge is your passport to free Arriva transport. So it's your bus pass. Um, if you don't happen to live on an Arriva bus route um, and you'd be using something like a Go North East service, that's absolutely fine. We will just keep your tickets and we reimburse. We also have a cash bursary seat scheme to help our students with um, the costs of coming to college. Um, it's based on attendance, punctuality, meeting targets, etc. Um, if you're from a household with an income of less than £25,000 a year, that would be £360 for the academic year paid in £10 a week instalments. And if your household income is between £25,000 and £50,000 a year, you would get two £50 payments in February and July. So the other perks of coming to college as well, you'll get free Wi-Fi, free printing and free parking. Um, we do free college meals and those are usually for people that qualified for free school meals when they were at school. Um, but something else is subsidised kit. So working in the land based sector can require quite specialised kit and safety equipment um, and you can get up to 75% towards the cost of your kit when you start here at college. It's all based on a financial assessment. So your next steps um, after seeing this presentation would be to go and have a look at the presentations for your specific curriculum areas, maybe agriculture, equine. Um, and if you haven't done so already, put an application in for the courses online. Once we've got your application, uh, we'll contact you and offer you a place on the course or arrange a one to one chat. If you would like to speak to our tutors or ask if you've got um, questions that you would like to, to ask them, you can contact us through our live chat facility or our email inquiries. Um, at the end of the presentations for the course, for each course as well, you'll usually find the course tutors email so you would be able to email your questions and things like that. And if you want to change your course or if you don't get the grades we ex you would expect, um, don't worry, come along at enrolment and we'll be able to find something to suit you. So that's the end of this of this little presentation. Because this presentation isn't live, um, we can't offer a Q and A on on this one. However, we do have the live chat facility on the website, which is up and running, and you can email us at inquiries, and we will pass your inquiry on to the best person to answer. So thank you very much for listening. Um, good luck with your choices, and good luck with your GCSE results. <laughs>